the destruction was staggering. It was more water than anyone here had ever seen and more water than they ever want to see again. It's been 15 years since the Alstead flood, a New Hampshire disaster in every sense of the word. And the devastation was frankly hard to take in. So there was a certain numbness that I saw in, in the people's eyes I was bumping into. Matt Saxton has lived in Alstead for 48 years. He was a selectman in 2005. That October weekend, there was 13 and a half inches of rain in 30 hours. A culvert on Cooper Hill Road was overwhelmed and a wall of water tumbled toward the downtown. A lot has changed in 15 years. Right now, the cold river is really low because of the drought. Where I'm standing during the flood was under eight feet of water. And the cars that were being pulled out of the river later in the day you could tell they were cars only because they had paint on them, but you couldn't tell which kind of car because some of them were rolled into actual balls. Four people died. More than 40 houses were damaged or destroyed. Today, there's a small memorial. The town's rebuilt. And while Saxton says there are some lingering wounds, there is a positive sense of resolve. Yeah, we learned. We learned that we can count on each other. We learned that we can count on at least state government. We learned that when we're all pulling together, incredible things can happen. In Alstead, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.